If cold hands and feet are part of what people experience with their autonomic symptoms, we really look hard at a couple things. Number one, we want to make sure that the map of the sensory system is normalized. What that means is we have to have a map in our brain of the different portions of our body. And if it's not mapped well, sometimes our body's not able to adequately deliver blood flow to the periphery. And we'll see that sometimes, especially with people that have cold and dry skin. We also want to look at the small fiber system. So are we able to actually have sensory signals normalized in the extremities, in your hands and your feet. And sometimes we can see in small fiber neuropathies where they're just not feeling it very well, which means we don't get good blood flow back in. And we look at how those overlap both when people are upright, like when they're seated, we'll measure it. And then we'll measure that differently if they're laying down. Because sometimes we'll find the things we find as positive, especially with the small fiber signs, when we lay people down and normalize that, it actually goes away. So paying attention to that helps us to be able to back out why they might be experiencing cold hands and feet and see if there's a way where we can improve that thermoregulation.